Hi guys, welcome to Shanks Wrestling Show and welcome to my Smackdown review. And we started off with Shane McMahon in the ring talking about uh, Kevin Owens, what he did to Vince McMahon last week, what it was a little bit shocking what Kevin Owens done last week. He attacked Vince McMahon and uh, now there's a big match going on at Hell in a Cell against Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon for the, in a Hell in a Cell match. I don't know what's going to happen at Hell in a Cell. I think it's just going to be a massive brawl. We've got to wait and see for that. Next off, we have uh, Aiden English in the middle of the ring. Uh, disrespecting Randy Orton because they've got a match. Uh, Aiden English was singing his theme tune, but in his w words, Randy Orton comes in, uh, be beats up Aiden English. Okay, out of nowhere, pinned in the one, two, three. Next off, Rusev comes out, uh, comes, comes out and uh, says we need a match. Orton agrees, they have a match, so it was another match for Orton, and Rusev just, like, beat him 1-2-3 in a few seconds, which was awesome, happy for Rusev to get a win over Randy Orton. Next off we have Ginger Mahal, he was outside in the ring, like, around the ring, and he was, like, taking Mick out of Shinsuke Nakamura and the Sin Brothers are laughing and all that, which is disrespectful to Ginger Mahal. Everyone loves Ginger Mahal. Uh, I mean, everyone loves uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, not Ginger Mahal. And Nakamura uh, was backstage, he got an interview saying it's not funny and all that, which is not. It was last week, but not this week. Uh, so at Hell in Cell, they two, them two are going to go against each other for the WWE title. I hope Shinsuke Nakamura is going to win. Next off, it was supposed to be an AJ Styles versus Baron Corbin for the United States Championship match. The announcement, the uh, announcer said the names, ding ding ding, and then Ty Dinner came in and beat up Baron Corbin, and uh, we didn't get a match. So I think it's going to be like a Ty Dillinger, Baron Corbin, uh, you know, uh, let them to have a rivalry, I think. I don't know what's going to happen with this, like AJ Styles, Ty Dillinger, and uh, Baron Corbin. We'll wait and see for the upcoming weeks and stuff. Maybe there'll be a triple threat, a head and cell match, or I don't know, whatever is going to happen. Then we get the uh, Charlotte Fair comes out. She comes out and talks about her father, how he's getting on and is doing well and stuff, which is awesome. I get, I, I like it to hear Rick Fair getting well and stuff like that. So it makes, it makes me happy. Natalia comes in and disrespects it and just goes on and like saying she's the best women's wrestler in SmackDown history and stuff like that. It's just not on. Then all the other women, everyone else comes out except from Carmella because she's got the briefcase. She can cash in any time. Never didn't see Carmella and James Ellsworth for this week, which is odd. And uh, and, it, and then there was the uh, uh, Daniel Bryan's come out. Daniel Bryan comes out and says uh. In the main event, there'll be Tamina Snooker versus uh, Naomi versus Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch for the number one contender for the women's title for Hell in a Cell. Uh, then we move on to uh, the Hype Bros versus New Day. Uso is uh, on the commentary. Uh, New Day wins and uh, start dancing, saying, Yeah, come and. Fight us, and that was it for that bit. Then we have the Kevin Owens satellite saying what he's done and whatever else what's been through this past three weeks. Then we have the main event: Charlotte versus New Becky versus Snooker versus Naomi, which was an awesome match. Uh, 
Charlotte won that match, which will be awesome because Natalia disrespected her, and uh, it'll be an awesome match at Hell in a Cell against them two. Uh, another thing I've heard about for SmackDown, uh, Paige is apparently coming back, and she put a picture on Twitter the other day. At performance centre, which I'm happy about, um, and I heard she's coming to a SmackDown, which I'm happy about. Well, whatever, but I'm happy Paige is coming back. People, I don't think pe some people will ha be happy because of what's ha happened in the past, like in her per personal life. I don't care about her. Per well, I do care, but not really bothered about her personal life it's her personal life and what she does in the ring which I like uh, is awesome she's one of my favorite women wrestlers well she is like my favorite at the moment well kind of like a year ago before she left it's her and uh, AJ, AJ Lee and uh, at the moment, I like Alexa Bliss, so I'm happy that she's coming back. Um, and another thing, there's uh, WCW, an old WCW uh, pay-per-view called Starcade. It apparently it's coming back uh, after Hell in a Cell for SmackDown. It's going to be in November, no November, December time, I think. October, I think, I can't remember when it's going to be, but it's going to be back, and it's going to be awesome, and that is it guys, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video, peace out.